Samsung's portable projector is getting an update, one that gives it more speed, more capabilities, and the ability to play with friends. If you've been holding out on getting an easy big screen experience with this projector, well now with this update, it might be time to give it some real consideration. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? This right here is the Freestyle second gen by Samsung. A while back, I was able to check out the Freestyle and it made quite a bit of a splash because of its high portability and because it delivered on a number of key quality specs. I'm happy to check out the new version and to give you my thoughts on it courtesy of Samsung, who are also the sponsor of this video. When the shipment came through, I was a little bit confused for a second because two units of the Freestyle arrived. Turns out that was by design and we'll get to why in a little bit. But for now, let's see what has been updated in this 2023 edition of the Freestyle compared to the 2022 edition, at least at first glance. Simply put, not a whole lot, but that's actually a good thing. The Freestyle second gen retains almost all of the same design aspects of the original, keeping the cylindrical shape that packs as many features as possible into this diminutive size. The same 550 lumen LED bulb is here that features quick autofocus and auto keystoning abilities. And our port selection here is still the micro HDMI connection right next to the USB-C charging port and privacy microphone toggle. All are perched atop this 180 degree cradle stand that completes the compact design. There are even speakers in this projector, making this an actual all-in-one solution for good looking and sounding media on the go, or let's say in bed. Included here is a prism cover that essentially converts this projection into a light fixture. You can set any of the built-in colorful graphics as the source material, and then the freestyle can become a light show of sorts. If you're not watching something on the freestyle, you might as well set a mood for the room. One thing that is new to my experience this time around is this charging stand, which is called the freestyle battery base. It is quite weighty, but comes with a massive 32,000 milliamp hour battery that can power the freestyle second gen for up to a few hours. As a base, this gives the Freestyle something to stand on, literally, and it also elevates it a little bit off of the table, which can sometimes help with getting the angle of the projection just right. And then the same 50 watt charger that comes with the Freestyle charges the base, while a short USB-C cable allows for pass-through to the projector. So you can keep the base charging up so that you have battery power there while you're still using the projector. Of course, until you want to unplug and get away from the wall and you can take the show on the road, this will be your setup for at least a few hours. So the experience is about the same as I remember before. After the initial setup and after signing into various accounts for Samsung, YouTube, and other streaming apps like Netflix, it's a simple matter of pointing the projector at a blank wall or even a projector screen if you happen to have one, and you let the freestyle do the rest. Auto-focusing and auto-keystoning occur quickly, and you can move the projector around to any position that would help with your viewing needs. The freestyle straightens the image and then makes sure that the image comes through nice and clear. It is possible to set your own keystone if you want to different positioning or look, but for the most part, the automatic adjustment works really well. The personal keystone feature is pretty cool though. You use the camera on your smartphone, put it right in front of your face, and let the app recognize four points on the projected image, after which time the freestyle will automatically adjust the view accordingly. You might actually get an image that is a little bit more comfortable if you happen to be quite a bit askew from the projector itself. I usually also change up the scale and the size of the image so that the resulting image of up to 100 effective inches fits just right on my wall. There are very adjustments that can be made to the image uh, via settings for contrast, color, and sharpness. I actually find myself changing between the main color modes, dynamic and standard, based upon what content I'm viewing. There is plenty here to get the image to look exactly the way that you want. The result is a large screen experience and a small form factor, blowing up a 1080p image with very little fuss. So if you're looking to go big but you don't have the room for an actual huge TV, this is one of the easiest ways to achieve that. I also found myself not connecting any speakers to the Freestyle second gen. Now, once in a while, headphones via Bluetooth connections were used, but the 360 degree premium sound speakers on the Freestyle actually work quite well. In a, let's say, simple scenario where you might be sitting right next to the actual projector, the speakers are actually loud enough to complete the casual viewing experience. Anyone that has used the original projector might notice a bit of a change in the software interface. No, nothing has really changed, let's say, visually from the Samsung TV interface that comes with the Freestyle and basically all of Samsung's TV products. What I'm talking about here is a boost of speed and smoothness to it all. The Freestyle second gen has a much smoother and faster time getting from one place to another in the software. Going from YouTube back to home, then over to Peacock, and then back again felt like way less of a chore than before. 
And while we're on the topic of software, pretty much every service is here, from Disney Plus to Peacock to Twitch. There's even Samsung's own TV Plus networks that are there for constant live content if you're just looking for a classic channel surfing experience. And it's easy to navigate all of that with the smart remote that also works with voice assistants, Bixby, or Amazon Alexa, and can now be charged conveniently via a solar cell on the back. And if anything, the USB-C port on the bottom of the remote can still charge it. But speaking of gaming, what has been added to the software is the Gaming Hub, which you might know from other Samsung Smart TV products. It's a game streaming hub that gives access to services like Xbox Game Pass Streaming and GeForce Now. While it is of course possible to plug any game console or PC into the Freestyle second gen and play with the low latency game mode, a game controller connected through Bluetooth and a good internet connection might be all that you need for some fun gaming straight out of the Freestyle second gen itself. Of course, being a Samsung device, the Galaxy ecosystem can expand the experience. Projecting a laptop, tablet, or smartphone screen to the Freestyle second gen can take on the same general procedure. You can hit the appropriate button in the mobile device and then find the projector in the list. But one fun thing you can do is uh, make it easier with a simple tap of a phone like the Galaxy Z Flip 5 right onto the Freestyle second gen. The projector connects automatically to the phone and then mirrors the mobile screen on the big screen. It's from there that you have a couple of extra features like being able to just project one application to the Freestyle and then using your phone like normal aside from that. But what if you want even more? That's where having two of the Freestyle second gen actually comes into play. This is via a feature called the Smart Edge Blending. Putting two of these projectors together means having an extra wide or an extra tall view of content that you can enjoy if you have the wall space for it. So if you happen to have two of the Freestyle second gen, let's say one is in your office and the other one is in, let's say, a bedroom, you can always put them together and team them up when you want to get real extra. The procedure requires the projectors to be registered to the SmartThings app, after which time you would select one and trigger the Smart Edge Blending feature after clicking that particular projector. The two projectors need to be basically the same distance away so that the edges that meet between the two light projections can more easily mesh together. The projectors will blast a couple of pictures that you have to overlap in certain ways, and then you use the smartphone camera so that the app can see their positioning and then create the edge. Now I will say that getting the vertical smart edge blending requires a little bit more creativity, but if you do have a lot of vertical content on the smartphone, uh, this is one fun way to actually view it. Now again, you might need a lot of wall space for this, but the result is still pretty damn cool. Currently the feature works with local images and videos from the connected smartphone, so for now it's a good way of maybe getting some extra white decor on the wall. Another thing you can do is actually use smart view during smart edge blending. Basically you're mirroring the smartphone screen onto the combined image, so you can have an extra extra long or an extra tall version of your smartphone on the wall. The aspect ratio of a smartphone doesn't necessarily extend to the very wide version of Smart Edge Blending, but what I have found is that making a vertical version of Smart Edge Blending actually allows you to view vertical video very easily on a huge display. Maybe some TikToks, some Reels, or some YouTube Shorts on a screen that is blowing up your smartphone to a significant degree. This is one really fun way of actually getting through some short form content uh, rather than just staring straight at your phone. If you're already scrolling through all of these videos anyway, why not just blow up that display onto your wall? I'm definitely looking forward to more capabilities opening up with this particular feature. And so, there you have it. Updates to the Freestyle second gen by Samsung make this already unique and easy projector speedier, more fun, and bigger when you pair them together. I've been a fan of the Freestyle since the first generation because sometimes you just want a bigger version of the content you're already enjoying. And it's easy to just prop it up like this and get that without much fuss. I want to give thanks again to Samsung for sending over the Freestyle second gen and for partnering with me on this video. If you're interested in getting the Freestyle second gen for yourself, check out the links in the description and in the pinned comment below. But from there, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for kicking it with me today. Please take care of yourselves and each other and enjoy your tea, everybody.